Hi there Aries, Sun, Moon and Rising and Venus. This is going to be your love reading. I'm going to get some oracle cards out for you. I'm going to get some tarot cards for you. And just have a little look what is coming through in regards to your love life. If you do find this reading helpful, then please do leave me a like, comment, subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. If you wish to book a personal reading, you'll find the details in the description box below. And you'll also find links to my social medias as well there. So, for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, what is the love message for today, please? We've got coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savouring the moment, feeling uplifted and friendship. Ooh, are there dates in the air for my beautiful Aquarius uh, Aries, maybe you're going to be meeting an Aquarius Aries. We've got wedding rings, union, wedding, married, soul con connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Wow, this is looking really hopeful for you. So for some of you, okay, you could be getting back out there. You could be dating again is something I'm getting. As I say that, we have the three of cups here. Spending time with your friends, okay, just being more social is something I'm getting. Wow, with the Ace of Cups as well, guys. Definitely feeling a new love coming towards you, okay. And it could certainly be a new love that has a lot of potential here. For some of you, okay, you're going to be meeting someone who could literally be the one. Others of you, okay, I feel that there's this idea of... Um, you're going to be meeting more people in general. You're just going to be getting out there more, okay? And this could certainly then put you in a place where you could meet somebody special in your life. Let's get some tarot cards, though, for Aries. Okay, we're opening up with the Five of Cups. Let's get a few cards and then we can talk about this energy for you. For Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Well, we've got the Nine of Swords and we've got the Moon's energy here. We have the Knight of Pentacles. Let's move these up actually so you can actually see your cards. There we go. And um, let's get one more, please. We've got the Temperance Energy. At the bottom of the deck, we've got the King of Swords. We've got the Knight of Wands Energy. Okay, so what is going on here, guys? I do feel okay that for some of you, okay, there could be a lot of stress, particularly if you're going through a separation with somebody, okay? There's been um, an ending. There could be a lot of regret from the past that is around you at this time okay a lot of sleepless nights a lot of worry okay and i do get the message here okay that this is coming to an end for you which is really beautiful okay this moon here okay do feel this cycle is closing out for you where you've been bitterly disappointed by love okay where you've had nothing but sleepless nights as a result of love this is a pattern that is coming to a close for you with this moon's energy here. And this next full moon could be very significant for you, okay, in regards to this kind of purge I feel you're going through. I also feel, okay, there's a recognition on your part, okay, of who you are, which direction you want to go in. And this is aligning you, okay, on this path of balance. There's this idea of divine timing occurring in your love life, okay? There is this idea of things perhaps progressing a little bit more slowly than you would like. I feel for some of you, okay, you could be feeling very guarded when it comes to love with this King of Swords. You are someone who's got very deep emotions, but because of this Five of Swords, okay, this, uh, sorry, this Five of Cups energy here, this past disappointment, perhaps you have become a little bit more resilient shall we say or you've got your guard up when it comes to a certain situation always trust in your own intuition okay if your intuition is telling you that you can't trust in a situation then by all means you need to trust that but just like when a situation is telling you the complete opposite that you can okay it's okay for you to then loosen that guard is something i'm getting i also feel okay with this five of cups and you there could certainly be someone around you right now okay who is very stressed very anxious okay in regards to a situation and the way it's been left with you they could be reaching out to you okay and um, to offer you some sort of clarity here is something else i'm getting now let's get some clarification though what's this five of cups please for aries sun moon rising and venus for aries sagittarius's energy as well as cancer's energy could be significant sun moon rising and venus here for you guys so we've got the five of pentacles, okay, come out in the reverse. I do feel, okay, this time of feeling left out in the cold, feeling left behind, okay. Perhaps all your friends or family, okay, they've all sort of found the one is something I'm getting here, okay, and you're feeling a little bit left behind. I feel that energy is shifting for you. I also feel, okay, there is definitely a mindset shift occurring for you in the near future in regards to what true love looks like for you. 
in regards to you actually being truly worthy and desiring okay to put yourself out there is something i'm getting i feel for some of you okay you've been hiding or you've been avoiding dating for quite some time here and it's now time to put yourself back out there at the bottom of this deck okay did notice we've got the beautiful lovers energy here absolutely glorious it speaks about a soul connection it speaks about this wedding rings energy here okay i feel for a lot of you okay you have always dealt with people who haven't met you where you're at in the past okay and i feel you could be meeting your equal match you just need to have a little bit more patience okay because when it comes towards you it's really going to be worth it is what i'm hearing so what's this nine of swords we've got the queen of swords and we've got the nine of pentacles queen of swords and the king of swords showing here now like i say i do feel you're going to be meeting your match okay someone who can meet you where you're at someone's going to be on the same um frequency as you someone's going to be on the same page as you i do feel okay there is this idea of communication perhaps you need to speak your truth someone needs to speak their truth to you here okay there's this idea as well okay is as you're becoming more independent as you're becoming more self-reliant this is sort of bringing in your counterpart is what i get I'm also feeling with this nine of pentacles, okay, that you don't need to stress, you don't need to worry, you've done enough, you are enough. You don't need to change in any way, shape or form, okay, to bring in this beautiful loving connection that is coming towards you. You are beautiful, you are a divine being, having a human experience and you're absolutely glorious just the way you are. Don't be stressing it, you don't need to um, change yourself in any way shape or form okay to be loved is something that i'm hearing here okay so that could certainly be a message for someone out there what's this moon's energy please we've got the ace of swords absolutely beautiful so definitely some clarity coming out in for you well with the eight of wands okay as well as communication i do feel there's going to be communication okay it's going to be mutual communication it's going to be a lot of back and forth here there's a brand new beginning on the horizon here, okay, a brand new beginning that offers truth to you. And what's interesting, okay, is the moon is there on the bottom of this deck again there. So anything that's been hidden is coming to the surface. A lot of fears, a lot of doubts could have been triggered within you recently, okay, but you're gaining clarity as a result of that. You haven't gone through this darkness, through this um, difficulties, these challenges, okay, for nothing. It is for purpose, and I feel you're going to be recognising and realising that purpose in the near future. I also feel like there's a lot of karma thoughts coming towards you as well and a desire to move forward as well. I definitely feel you're going to be putting yourself out there more is what I'm getting, okay? You're going to be stepping into the limelight perhaps. What's this night of pentacles about, please? So earth signs and Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo could be significant here for you. We've got the devil's energy, so particularly um, Capricorn's energy. That was a few too many. What's this Knight of Pentacles about? Let's get one more. We've got the Queen of Wands here. <clears throat> I do see, okay, that you're slowly and steadily moving away from situations that don't serve you, okay? Moving away from any codependency, okay? Moving away from things that are very toxic, okay? Things that have brought you to your knees. Things that bring about this stressful Nine of Swords energy and this Five of Cups. That cycle's well and truly closing out for you. It's a slow process, okay, to establish your boundaries is what I'm hearing. It's taken you a little while to sort of establish where your boundaries lie, okay, and to sort of um, adhere to them is something I'm getting here. There's definitely this glow-up energy occurring around you as well, though. I see you saying goodbye to any fears or doubts that you might hold in regards to how other people see you and really shining out your beautiful light there. There's this magnetic, okay, and um, very fiery, attractive energy around you as well here okay and this this is actually what's bringing in this offer for you i feel for some of you as well and getting the message here okay you're just not interested right now as much as this you know the idea of this union wedding rings the full shebang okay it's all very appealing right now just isn't the right time for you i also feel okay the person who's coming towards you is going to understand this they are someone who's going to take it very slowly with you temperance is being clarified by the moon that moon is determined to come out here well with the knight of pentacles we've got repeating cards here as well with the nine of cups okay six of cups and the ace of cups there for some of you okay you are meeting a soulmate here it's been a long time coming for you but it is finally coming your wish is coming true 
for some of you okay this could be returned from someone from the past okay offering new love here and for others of you this is just an instant recognition of a soulmate when you meet them Sagittarius season can be very significant here in regards to this time men like I said things that have been hidden things that have any illusions you might have held about yourself okay or about love in itself okay going to be shattered is what I'm getting and I feel regardless, okay, what's going on around you, you are going forward. Slowly but steadily, okay, you're balancing yourself out. Emotions are running very high for you, but you've still got this balanced approach. And like I say, wish fulfillment occurring here, okay, soulmate and a brand new beginning in love. Perhaps after a time, okay, of feeling very, very stuck. Perhaps stuck in your own mindset, okay, perhaps this is someone's energy around you, okay, but finally progress okay is what i'm getting after a long period of stillness after perhaps a prolonged period of isolation for some of you like i say you've kind of been holding yourself back when it comes to love let's get some more messages here for you though for aries sun moon rising and venus let's get a couple of oracle cards for you we've got reflection give each other space and time at the moment trust and have faith that all will work out for the best so this is definitely a message for those of you okay who are in separation right now from somebody but it's also a message okay about even if you've got no one on your mind okay and you're meet, waiting to meet someone very special someone who can offer you this beautiful wedding rings energy here it's okay there isn't a rush okay there isn't um time is not running out for you is what i'm getting not that's going to be too many let's get one more from this deck we've got manifesting miracles your dream is soon to become a reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance absolutely beautiful and we do have the nine of cups there it's kind of like as you fill in your own cup okay as you're finding your own personal satisfaction emotional fulfillment that's when this miracle is coming in for you and i feel for many of you okay you know, if you are in a separation what you're feeling in your heart space you can trust this you can follow its guidance and for others of you okay where there's no person at all involved here i just feel this is the energy of you continue to have the faith okay yes you've been dealt a difficult time when it comes to love relationships is what i get you but things are definitely going to be shifting in a more positive way for you don't be afraid to dream big either okay don't be afraid to be uh dreaming the impossible is something i'm hearing here We've also got friendship. Nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So that's another message for you as well. There could definitely be a friend around you who has deeper feelings for you than they're letting on is something else I'm getting here for you, Aries. Wow, we've got the real deal here. Love is true here. Feelings are intense. We have also embrace. You will soon be able to hug and embrace your special someone. And call back your energy, love yourself, treat yourself, own your power. And at the bottom of the deck, you've got healthy boundaries. Setting healthy boundaries is a positive step to take. I feel this is something that you guys have come to the realisation of. There is this idea of realness, okay, in your love life in the coming future, okay. This idea that you're going to be able to embrace somebody who is really at the same level that you are, okay. Someone who's going to be able to meet you where you're at let's get some closing messages now for you for aries sun moon rising and venus we've got remarkable notice everything remarkable about your relationships and we do have those wedding rings there again guys okay and at the bottom 11 11 11 11 is an important number for twin flames it symbolizes harmony and balance in soul connections and I do feel, okay, this could certainly be your counterpart, okay, it could be somebody, you're meeting someone who's an equal match to you, for sure, here. there is this idea of harmony and balance coming in for you, internally as well as externally here, and possibly even wedding bells in the future. We've got Cancer here, so Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus could be significant here for you, and this energy is emotional, sensitive, caring, loving, and it may concern a family, a mother or a child, perhaps there are children involved here, okay, you could have a family with this person who's coming towards you for some of you in the future or perhaps you already do have this we also have libra's energy here this energy is diplomatic and gracious it seeks harmony and balance in relationships it's a balanced connection a lot of emotions okay but it's still going to be very balanced don't be afraid of the depth of your emotions is also what i'm hearing here aries we've got mercury here how you think communicate write and talk and travel 
it could be the need for travel is something again it could be a distance relationship you could meet online is something else that perhaps could occur here i also feel okay this is someone who is going to be able to communicate with you we've got the king and queen of swords as well as the ace of swords showing up here i feel the communication between you guys is going to be absolutely oh wow second to none i do apologize about that but that's just like confirmation i'm thinking here okay it's going to come in with a bang as well as what i'm getting it's going to come out to nowhere for you this beautiful love connection that's on the horizon for you aries so that's what i've got for you that's your reading if you have enjoyed please give me a like comment subscribe it means a lot to me and i shall catch you all in the reading soon take care everyone bye